happy birthday. Hey, uh, it's not actually my birthday, uh, though happy birthday to the 10 people who are watching this whose birthday it actually is. I bought this balloon, this big uh, party balloon, it's the biggest one that they had, well, at least the only size they had actually, to illustrate some interesting properties of mylar balloons viewed with thermal cameras. And the properties are, is that when you're looking up at a mylar balloon, it's going to look hot. If you're looking down at a mylar balloon, it's going to look cold. And the reason this came up is from this, this video here, the uh, rubber duck UFO video. And there's the suggestion this might be a bunch of balloons, kind of an irregular shaped bunch of balloons. Uh, it could be something else as well, but people are saying that they think it isn't a bunch of balloons because it looks so very cold. Uh, it's very bright white and we're in black hot mode in this thermal camera so people are saying that you know why is this so incredibly cold and the reason I think is you know what I pointed out earlier when you look down on a mylar balloon from above then it is going to appear cold and uh, why does it do that it does that because it's reflective and the sky is very very cold and so it reflects the sky and um, you know other people have said that it reflects other things as well so you would expect to see a mixture of hot and cold but the, the problem is that we're looking at a very low resolution video here and we're looking down on this this perhaps bunch of balloons perhaps a drone or something else from a steep angle so the reflection we're seeing uh, is you know we're not actually seeing uh, very much and the things that are reflecting around the sides are reflections of the ground which will blend in the, with the ground but this is just me talking perhaps i should do some kind of experiment to do this so i got this balloon got my little thermal camera my little FLIR one camera uh, and i went out and did an experiment this is in uh, black hot mode and we can see that we're looking down on it here and it's reflecting the sky and the sky appears to be to be white to be cold now, if we get down below the balloon and we look up at the balloon against the sky, we see that the balloon appears very dark. So the balloon, when you're looking up at it, appears to be black hot, which is hot. And it shows here 54 degrees. And you'll notice if I move around and look at other areas of the sky, minus 27 degrees. You're just looking at this blue sky over here, which you think of as being nice and warm, but it's actually minus 27 degrees in terms of the radiation coming off it. That isn't actually the real temperature because there's nothing up there except for gas. You know, minus, minus 40 degrees, minus 46 degrees. So obviously anything you look at against the sky, even ice actually, it's going to appear as hot. It appears black hot against the white sky. So why in the... Um, the rubber duck video are we just seeing white you know we're looking down at this and you saw earlier when I was looking down at this balloon uh, we just we saw this kind of white area at the top but we see dark as well well the reason is we're looking at it down at it from quite a a high altitude and from a steep angle and I tried to simulate that as best as I could with what I have available by going up on my balcony and looking down so here's the balloon there's the balloon down here and here's what it looks like it just looks like a white blob. You can't see anything else. All we're seeing is white. I can play this here. And you see the balloon bobbing around. We don't see anything really other than the white blob. You know, when it's adjusted, we see just that white blob. And here I'm measuring the temperature. It's about 60 degrees I did it this morning. When we go onto the balloon, it goes down to a much lower, you know, below freezing temperature, which obviously it isn't. This balloon was actually warmer the environment than the environment because it's been indoors the whole time. So it actually, uh, should actually show up warmer if it was showing. But because it's reflecting the sky, it just shows up as a white blob. And that's why this uh, balloon, possible bunch of balloons over here, would show up just as a bunch of white blobs and they were blending together and they would just show up as bright white. It's not even super bright white. You see this white here is the same as this white here. It's uh, you know, it's the same white here and here. It's not even particularly cold. It's just showing up as cold on the thermal video. Some people, like Dave Falch here, have tried to show that it couldn't be a mylar balloon by showing these, these videos of a mylar balloon and they show that it's, you know, it's black and white and you can see everything clearly. Uh, and then they show it shows it up against the sky. Let's see, I think this is in, this is in black hot mode. So we, it appears as hot. And he's, he's saying that, you know, this, this shows that it wouldn't appear 
on the video like that. But of course here he's looking up at the balloon, so it's going to appear as hot. What he should have done is look down at the balloon. He should have got up on the roof of the building and filmed it uh, looking down at it the same way that I did here. Uh, so you've got to make sure you're doing the right type of experiment if you're trying to compare like with like. It's, um, it's all very well just pointing a camera at a balloon, but if you're pointing at a camera at a balloon in a very different set of circumstances, it's not going to give you the same result. Uh, here I'm looking down at the balloon and we see it's very much just a white blob. And that's what we see in the UFO video. So it's possible that these are actually balloons just reflecting the cold of the night sky. And I say reflecting the cold of the night sky because this is actually a night. This is at uh, 0, 0900 hours Zulu time, which is GMT. So you convert that to Arizona time. That's, I think, I believe, 2 in the morning uh, in Arizona time. Uh, so it's in the middle of the night. It's dark. It's reflecting uh, the, the, the night sky, which I think is even colder than the daylight sky. And we saw earlier that the daylight sky shows us minus 50 degrees. So this is going to be reflecting something that's very, very cold. All you're going to see is that cold. Any reflections around the edge are just going to be reflections of things that are similar color to the background. So you're not even going to see them. So mylar balloons viewed from above will appear as cold. Viewed from below will appear as hot. If you're going to do a comparison video, make sure you point your camera in the right direction.